Rugrats. You know, one of the three original animated series made by Nickelodeon alongside Ren and Stimpy and Doug. That beloved cartoon showcasing the world from a baby's perspective with their blindness to reality and wild imaginations. Nickelodeon's first big show before Spongebob came along. Now, I know I seem far too young to have grown up on a show like Rugrats. And I am. But as a kid, I do remember Teen Nick having a block on their channel called The 90s Are All That. Where I watched some of the older Nicktoons like Hey Arnold, Doug, Our Real Monsters, and Cat Dog, just to name a few. But the topic for today's video is, of course, Rugrats. Oh, uh, just a little heads up. I was also able to watch some of these shows online and on demand, too. Nick on demand. I just felt like bringing that up just to, just, just to keep that in mind. I even rewatched some of the episodes from the first five seasons, and I gotta say, I really enjoyed them. The show has plenty of charm from the babies being oblivious to the real world to simply using their imaginations, making for some really creative and fun stories. Even the adult characters get some enjoyable moments here and there as well as their own little issues to deal with. And who could forget the adult humor? Yeah, aside from a bit of toilet humor, it really feels like a show that anyone can enjoy, despite it being about literal babies. Anyway, I remember hearing that they were rebooting the show through this next-gen Nick poster I saw on Twitter. And not only were they rebooting it, but they are rebooting it in sweet, sweet CGI. Fast forward to now, and the Rugrats are back to please a whole new generation of kids. And after seeing the first five episodes of Paramount Plus for myself, I can safely say, in my opinion, the Rugrats reboot is... fine. It's fine. I do appreciate them staying true to the original, seeing as the writing's pretty much the same. Like, most of these stories really wouldn't feel out of place in the original. Like Chucky getting a balloon from a woman believing it's the last one on Earth. Chucky also getting a new robot dog from Stu and it going haywire on him eventually. The baby's getting a new puppy and literally calling it Foster. A few fantasy sequences here and there, and even all the characters are still themselves. Tommy stole the brave leader, Chucky stole the pussy, Phil and Lil stole the gross out bickering twins. And while not as vicious as she was in the original, Angelica's still the spoiled little bitch. There have been a few other changes, but I'll get to them later. Anyway, while I'm certainly glad they're staying true to the original, that's also kind of my biggest issue with it, seeing as it's a little too true to the original. Again, changes are there, but they're really not enough to help it stand out from the original. Don't get me wrong, it's still an enjoyable show, but it's mostly just the same. But what about these changes they have in the reboot, though? Well, for one, we get to see characters using very modern technology, like smartphones, Fitbits, even video game consoles. And they never go too modern, so that's good. I especially love this one gag where Angelica plays with Grandpa's phone, and she goes on Tinder, and a bunch of girls come to their house. Okay, now I should bring up the rest of the characters. Anyway, y'all remember Susie Carmichael? You know, the little black girl about Angelica's age would always be standing up to her and supporting the babies when needed. Well now, she's the baby's age and doesn't really contribute much. Bit of a downgrade if you ask me. Well, what about the adult characters? They were pretty important in the original. Well, unlike the babies, they had quite a bit of changes. To start, they have new voices. The leftover guacamole on my face talking, but I'm starting to feel better. Betty's been having some behavior issues with the twins. Well, we can't all be a perfect mother. Shar, you're hysterical. <laughs> Don't call me Shar. Now, these new voices might be jarring and out of place to some, but personally, I was able to get used to them after a while. Well, there were some voices I wasn't able to get used to. For example, I found Grandpa Lou's voice to be too young for his age. Son, have you ever had an elephant sit on your back? Once in a video game, why? Now you're missing the point. I pulled my back out. Wow. Anything I can do? Nah, I'll live. I just won't be making it to the march. I've never missed one in 50 years. Lou, that's tough. Do you want to talk about it? Rather not. But overall, I can definitely see these new voice actors are trying with what they have. As for their traits, well, not too much has been tweaked either. For example, Stu's still the toy maker, but he's a bit of a gamer now. Grandpa Lou's more of a hippie now, so that's something. Betty's still the confident mom, and she's single. And gay, apparently. And those are just some of the examples I'll bring up. And I am proud of how they handled these changes. They changed up a few things, but still kept their personalities intact. And now it's about time I address the other reptar in the room. 
the CGI. Now I already know some people are gonna say, oh, but there's no reason for this reboot to be CGI. And to that I have to ask, why is this such a big issue? Because not only has it been blatantly obvious for two whole decades that studios are much more interested in CGI seeing as it is easier than hand drawn, but that doesn't even judge the quality of the CG itself. Oh, speaking of which, I better talk about that. Now, I'm a firm believer that 2D characters can look good in a 3D setting. Hell, even Nickelodeon handled this well before with SpongeBob. And there's no exception here, they translated the characters really well here in my opinion. Sure, I find the hair to be a little too realistic, and I did notice a few mistakes. But overall, the CGI is really nice in my opinion. So, yeah, this reboot really isn't too different from the original. While I do wish there were more changes to the writing to help it stand out more, I still really enjoyed it. Everyone's still in character, CGI is pretty good, and like I said earlier, there's only 5 episodes so far, so maybe it'll improve over time. And who knows, maybe it'll become as big as the original. If you want to watch this reboot, fine. If you don't want to give it a watch, that's fine too. I don't really like to do recommendations, so I'll let you choose. But if you ask me, this reboot's not off to a bad start. Okay, bye.